streets today from Tidmarsh Bakery and Ansonia. Uh, so, Roy, thank you for coming back as My always. My pleasure. And uh, we're not just looking at this the, the beautiful array, but we're actually going to be making something. Um, I wish you brought the big rabbits, but unfortunately, you only brought just these, <laughs> nice. these, these little, little ones. ones. So, what are these weigh? Out of curiosity, uh, the biggest one, Mr. Big Ears. Uh -huh. uh, he weighs about eight pounds. He's hollow. Oh, it's hollow. I wonder if yeah, that's hollow. We how much it if we made him solid. solid, he'd be about 15 pounds. Well, you'd have nice. to change the suspension springs on your truck. <laughs> exactly that's right. True. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's uh, that's pretty cool. All right, but we're making yeah. stuff today. Nice. You too, buddy. All right, I'm yeah. going to try. Hey, you yeah. show up. You gotta, I sound you gotta, contaminated, but I'm not yeah. actually sick, by the way. Wow. Well, as, as well as, as, as. Depends on your definition of sick. I'm sorry. Keep that's going. okay. <laughs> as well as we make all these things the okay. rabbits and the eggs and the lollipops and the chocolate baskets and, the, and things like that. We also sell all the supplies for you to make your own cool. candy. So we brought some melted green chocolate this morning. Mm. Green chocolate, and, huh? And, mm. and because it's Easter time in the candy business, I mean, like, like the it's spring, spring flowers. Yeah. It's, 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 so it's one of the things I love about Easter and Passover seasons, the colors. Take a little desiccated coconut. And desiccated coconut is a fine shred coconut. Okay. And you just mix that together. It's not Parmesan desecrated. Cheese. Desiccated. desiccated. So That's sort of a correct. Dry Let's type get of thing. it straight here. Yeah, now right. Just making sure that we're being respectful of the coconut. Okay. The coconut. And then all you do is you take and you drop a little bit. Now, if one of you guys would take some of those jelly beans. Oh, I'll be happy and, to. And put a couple jelly beans on top just of these ones. Just a couple, right? Okay. Just a couple. Now, I have to confess, I'm not a jelly bean guy myself. And I'm not a coconut Which guy, is so this is not a good okay. combination. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Can, that's okay. We can still make it. I'm going to leave, I'm gonna leave the beans off of one of them because that's going to be mine. Okay. Um, these are the best, the best jelly beans you ever had. I'll try one. They're What's the old-fashioned petite pectin eggs that the old-fashioned candy stores used yeah, to carry. Yeah, those are good. Those are And those are fruit-flavored. They're not like popcorn and root beer. Oh, these yeah. These are real the old -fashioned good kind. jelly beans. I don't like beans. the flavor of them. I'm just not a huge fan of the consistency mm -hmm. or the, the uh, texture. Is all. We'll make a couple more just for you because I don't want to have you be hungry what for sweet the rest guy. of the day. Oh. Thank you. So then what are we doing with this? This is one of those uh, these stick are it in the, in the right? refrigerator kind of stick thing? Stick it in the refrigerator, let it get hard, take it out, and then we package them up and we sell them as bird's nests. Now, I know the answer to this question question, but I'm going to ask it for you anyway. How do you make these hollow things not have bubbles in them? These are all solid. All oh, those these are solid? Oh, solid. So how do you make them, well, you make them not have air bubbles in them? Well, if I told you, then you'd probably you, be in the candy. I'm going to know the answer. You'd have to too. kill you. <laughs> oh, uh, hey. Okay, what's the answer? you got to tap them. you got to tap them on a oh, table. So you have oh, get the bubbles before. to No, I've never hey, done it before. I'm a food network guy. Hey, Sam, what's five times six? What's five times six? Thirty. He's multiplying like rabbits. Look at all these <laughs> rabbits. So uh, what's your big seller? Rabbits or? or I mean, this everything. And, and these things here, these, this is an old fashioned fruit and nut egg. Very rare do you find these. We still make them. There's cherries and pineapples and nuts in there. We also mm -hmm. have the peanut butter eggs and the coconut eggs and the truffle eggs and the buttercream eggs. Things like that. And I noticed you have some of the religious uh, themed uh, chocolates Chocolate as crosses. well. Chocolate very popular still. We make this size here, and we make a bigger size than this here. And then, of course, as popular at Valentine's Day oh, yeah. and Easter, chocolate-covered strawberries in a uh, basket, basket that we that make out of chocolate. Nice. Wonderful. I got preempted there at the uh, snowstorm. So um, we, this was a oh, Valentine's yeah. Day special, and we did an awful that's lot okay. of them. That's, that's all right. Yeah. That, yeah, that, still tastes good. That's now. for all seasons. Th those are fresh this morning. In my house. Don't, you oh, know, oh, yeah. you know how to dip strawberries? Yeah. You know how to make rabbits. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no wrong way to dip a strawberry, <laughs> never, right? Never. Never. No, there isn't. That's for sure. And right. so we're ready to go for Easter time. All the supplies are in. We're making rabbits every day. Oh. We take these eggs and we can personalize them for you, write your kids' nice. names on them and things like that. Where are you guys located? In Ansonia, right off of Route 8. Uh, right. it's, it's very easy to get to. We've got to go, Roy, but and real quick, how long do those stay in the fridge or in the freezer? Oh, maybe 10 minutes. That's okay. it. That's Fridge all. or freezer? Either, either one. All right. Cool. Whatever's either faster. Whatever you hungry. have room in. <laughs> you know where I'm, you know, my, that's how my mind works. Roy Tidmarsh, thank you very much for coming in. We always appreciate your time and your sweetness.